like specifically, you know, I talked to Ben previously about his steroid use. Do Ben use his steroids? <laughs> I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Oh, no yes. way. But so he naturally is very candid about it. I know yeah. you have also used them for a prolonged period of time, but like, can you, I want to get into it, but just Absolutely, to, you want. to kind of jump into the end part a little bit. Do you think being now somebody who has totaled a thousand kilos, it's been worth it? Yep. Without a doubt, every day of the week. I always want to be the first at everything. Mm. Who the fuck doesn't want to win? No man in this country will ever take that away from me. Mm -hmm. So fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, first man to squat a 400, scores, first man to total a 1,000. I'll be the first man to squat fucking uh, 1,000 pounds and I'll be the first man in Ireland to do a 1,100 kilo total. So fuck yes. That's all I give a fuck about, man. Winning is winning. Mm. Okay, I may not have won a few comps for the last year or two. Who was it? Somebody wrote in to Jay. Uh, Mr. Mr. No Podium. <laughs> <laughs> One of your other titles. Yeah, yeah. Mr. 1K or Mr. No Podium. He's right. I didn't podium the last competition. The first one since since 2018. Yeah. I haven't podiumed or won. You know, um, it's been a, it's been a, it's, the competition's getting better mm. and I it wasn't is. and I wasn't. You know, and it was a fucking wake up call, man. It was, losing is a good wake up call. Like, I mean, failure should be mocked. Mm. <laughs> I, well, I believe it. In the same way, like I said, I don't think we should necessarily celebrate mediocrity. I also, like, in one way, I think people should forgive themselves if they fall short. But like that, if you're repeatedly falling short, you need to take a harder look in the mirror. If that's what you want to be, if you want to be that person mm. and you repeatedly fall short of this goal through your own inaction or your own lack of preparation, the only person you have to blame is yourself. Absolutely. But, like, walk me back, because I know, so, like, we went to the same school. Mm -hmm. You were a year above me and I knew even when we were in secondary school, you were a bit of a party animal. Oh yeah, I love drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Sorry. So <laughs> across that period of time from like what, 15, 16, 17? Um, so then I was just a stoner. Right. Um, and just found drink. I love, I love playing rugby, don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, you're, you've always been big stocky fella. Like. Yeah, you mean chunky? No, no, but genuinely like, I mean, and this is one thing like, uh, Ben actually said this about you when we were talking like, You've got this, you've got real density through your arms, shoulders, chest, and uh, traps. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you can see that even though you're a big soft cunt, you know what yeah. I mean? You, you do have a good amount of muscle under there. Yeah, you know? I just have a big belly at the moment. It's yeah. got to go. But I also need that for stability, man. Yeah, it, it, it comes with being a super heavyweight lifter. Yeah. You would not be handling the weights you're handling without being the, as big and dense as you are. Yeah. So fair enough. But like, so like, that's what I'm saying. Even from a younger age, you've always been a bigger, jack, more jacked dude. Yeah. So, and as you said, you played rugby, you like, a bit of weed. Loved a bit of weed. It didn't like me. It gave me massive fucking head, head fucks. Like, it, like still now, like I can go out and snort a couple of bags of coke on a Saturday night and I'd be better off than if I went and smoked a couple of joints. Mm. You know, but that's me. It just doesn't agree with my brain chemistry. So what happened along that pathway? You're like, you're, you know, you leave school. I know you're a bit of a party animal. You moved to Oz. Yeah, so basically, oh man, that was a fucking... That was a wild, that was a wild few years between Australia and, and uh, leaving school. Got a job. Yeah, uh, went out in a session constantly. Lived on, lived on fucking cocaine, Luke's Aid Sport, and and cider <laughs> <laughs> and shots, man. <laughs> Literally, that was my life. I was a fucking spacer, and you know, spent my youth chasing pussy, uh, and. Uh, like got led around by me Mickey, like a lot of us did mm -hmm. as a young man. And um then yeah, I just I just fucking I met my ex 